season. He's won three World Cups so far this season. Last year he was in the Army. This year he's fully concentrated on mountain bike racing, and it's really paying off. He's in the Army again, just on a different kind of march, a march to a World Cup championship, he hopes. And there's a stall up here in descent. Let's talk about John Tomac. The last two races, only four points in Mount St. Anne, and before that in Hunter, here he is, John Tomac, no points. Out with double flats, had to finish riding on a rim, and then dropped from the race. Well, that's atypical Tomac because he's been very strong all season. While others suffer behind, Tomac just rolls over this stuff like it's nothing. Others are forced to the low line. And here is John Tomac, the man who is known for his wild descents. Mr. Everything in 1991. And John Tomac on a descent that would make Batman nervous. Austria. And you can see as they come through the same section as Tomac, they're going 10 miles an hour slower. David Weens, much more timid. Henrik Dernis, and he is even slower still. Where is Tomas Frischkenek? He's been the factor so far this season, but today it's all John Tomac. Tomac has great memories of Mount Snow from last year. He won everything, the uphill, the downhill, and down goes Tim Gould of England. Those riders who cannot stay on the high line are bound to run into that stump, and with the speed they're carrying, they will go down. John Tomac, his jaw fixed, 